Air signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Welcome to my channel. My name is Lady Day, and this is the Healing Butterfly. Thank you so much for joining my channel. Please like, share, and subscribe. I am an overall intuitive reader as well as a medium. Please take what resonates from this particular message and leave the rest for someone else. Don't try to apply a storyline that doesn't belong to you. You may end up making some serious life decisions off of details that were not pertaining directly to you. Today's message is the spiritual guidance message. We'll start with the work your magic just to confirm what energy should you be stepping into as you move forward on your path. We'll then get into your spiritual, I'm sorry, your animal totem message. Um, and then of course, getting into the reading, your challenges, where to focus your energy, what energy to avoid, and advice from spirit. And then we'll wrap up with just an overall spirit message, okay? So what do we have for the air signs? Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius spirit. Gemini, Libra, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius spirit. What is the highest message that you have? Thank you. Bottom of the deck is Evil Queen. You deserve sugar, not salt. And morning. The world awaits. The world awaits you. Um, have you been having nightmares or um, a rough time sleeping or feeling uneasy like things are around you people are around you something like that um, I'm, I'm hearing there's going to be a there's going to be a stop to that shit okay all right well, I'm not here to argue with nobody's ancestors okay so someone maybe uh, may have been coming off trying to pretend to be real sweet and they're not they're they're not the sweetest person they're not who they display you to be um or you went through a period of time with someone who was not um displaying it was not who they displayed themselves to be okay and i feel like there's this either this weight lifted or this i ain't got to deal with that no more kind of thing um that i'm feeling okay let's get into your animal totem message um what is the animal totem message for Air signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius spirit. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius spirit. What is their animal message? Thank you, spirit. Can I have a true gentle face, spirit? You can fast forward if you want. <laughs> Bottom of the deck is dolphin play. Swim in the ha that's wonderful. Swim in the happy joy of living. Inhale confidence and exhale fear. Dive into your wisdom. Go with the flow. Okay. We have the butterfly rebirth. You can reinvent yourself, open to the rewards of change. You have brilliance to share with the world. Love every part of your journey. Yes, hummingbird miracles. Yes, you are the you are the joy bringer. You bless the world with positivity and love. Energy soars on your shining wings. Spread the miracle of happiness. Something's getting ready to come to you and I feel like it's going to take your breath away. Mm, I had to gather myself because those emotions came really quickly. It's like finally, I'm just feeling, oh, goodness gracious, I'm feeling like finally, it's my turn, it's my time, it's it's finally here, it's finally mine. Um, you may have been going through a very tumultuous time with someone or with something, something you couldn't shake. It just felt like a lot of maybe negativity was surrounding you or one negative person, one negative aspect of your life just wouldn't stop. Um... And it's like finally you're being like rebirthed, reborn from that. But it's like a fresh weight. <sighs> like, you know, like, oh, finally, like, like, a, like, a, like a butterfly out of the cocoon. Like someone who's been in a coma for a long time. Like finally being able to spread your wings. You may feel all of that right now. I feel it so heavily. But there's something coming for you that's going to bring you to tears. It's going to be something so beautiful. I don't know what it is. But goodness, it took my heart. I had to clutch my pearls, girl. God, you you know who you are <laughs> ain't that what you so maybe that's another thing it has something to do with maybe family starting a family um 
maybe some a family member passing something down. Do you have family members be like uh, James, uh, George, uh, uh, Daquan, uh, you, you child, you know who I'm talking to, something like that. So if that happens to be um, how you are with family, um, how family, how they are with you, um, there's something in this message for you. So what are the challenges? Spirit, thank you. Leap. You know, I don't think I've ever seen this card. Hmm. Leap. You go first, the universe will catch you. And maybe that's hard for you to do. To get on that, in Rama, to, for you to get on that journey, for you to really jump, for you to, you also may be, um, you're a healer. You astral project as well. You heal from distances. You may feel like your hands sometimes get itchy, and I know we say, oh, that's money, but I feel like you may also feel heat, vibrations. You know what I mean? Almost like tremors. You may think you have tremors, but you, you really have healing hands. You are truly a healer, and you truly astral project. I said something about you at night, nightmares and things like that. You may be afraid because you wake up and you feel like you've been going somewhere. It's because you've been astral projecting. Where should they focus? Thank you. Spirit better do this thing for you. Focus on birthing a new age. Birthing new creations, bringing a new world into being. What should you avoid? Get grounded. You are an empath. Don't allow people to take you off your... Get, get you all outside yourself now. You are an empath, so you take on energies from others. Um, empaths, high, highly sensitive, connect with nature. So avoid not meditating. Avoid people taking, allowing people to take you outside yourself. Um, avoid being in, in the house too much as well, okay? And what's, well, spirit talking to you today, by the way. But they said bottom of the deck, I was going to put it away. Um, bottom of the deck is warrior woman. So again, stepping into who you were called to be, stepping into your strength. Again, doesn't you don't have to be a woman, um, but it, it says, have you answered your deepest calling? Because you need to trust your path. If you knew you would be supported, what would you do? And star mother, how can you mother yourself? How can you accept the love of the divine mother? Gaia, Mother Gaia as well. We already talked about you being out in, in nature as much as possible. Trusting your path that you were birthed and born for this situation, but also trust that your spirit guides have you all the way through this path, okay? Yeah, okay, thank you, spirit. You see her hands? How her hands are up? It's like you you don't like you don't have to lay hands. Like they say, oh lay hands. You don't even have to lay hands. You can literally send energy just by doing this. Just by focusing and harnessing your energy and your powers and sending it. That's it. That's all. You don't have to be so there's something about maybe you are an energy worker. Maybe you need to start looking into being an energy worker. Okay. However that may be for you. Maybe you do conferences. So, okay. There's another thing. Um, thank you, Spirit. Start making it more like this. Sometimes it's not so much you working with energy and you being a healer and you flipping tarot cards or, you know, things like reading tarot. Thank you, Spirit. Reading, reading tarot cards. It may be that you do counseling sessions with people. And these counseling sessions are from miles apart through Zoom. This may be you doing prayer session, sessions for people that they don't even know. This, this could be so many different things of you sending out healing and love. This could even be, I'm also seeing that some of you may be trying to do some type of, they're packaged, I'm just going to describe what I'm seeing. I'm seeing like packages with affirmations in them. I'm seeing packages with like reading materials, things to hang up. It's not like uh, items to put on your body. It's more like literature. I'm hearing literature, things for you to, it, and there possibly may be candles or incense or something like that, but it's more like maybe like a meditation kit. Whoever that resonates with. God bless you. May God bless you abundantly with that um, business venture if you do decide to get on that path. All right. What is Leap Spirit? What is Leap? Make a decision. Lovers, a divine union. This is, the, you were there being divinely guided. Okay. Ten of Cups. So maybe there is um, a family coming together maybe you're going to get married soon to a king of cups cancer pisces or a scorpio 
three of cups at the bottom of the deck. Don't, don't, don't you do that. Don't you walk away from um, something that you know could be your ten of cups. Your family, your home life, happiness, joy. Wow. That's, I think there may be a challenge in regards to you leaping out there and really allowing yourself to be all the way vulnerable, all the way loved, and leaping out there for a spirit to take you on this journey all the way. I'm just hearing something about taking you all the way. Oh, that's, like you'll be sliding into home, but I think you're afraid to not have challenges. Or you're afraid to, to, to leap into something because maybe you think it's going to bring more challenges. But I don't feel anything bad about this. You go first and the universe will catch you. No matter what challenge, I'm also here no matter what challenge you see in your life, get it, give it to us and, and jump. Surrender to us and just jump. We'll always make sure you land on your feet. I'm hearing cat-like. I don't know what that means, cat-like. Um, we owe what cats do. Well, they say cats. Fall. I don't know. I've never thrown a cat to see if it falls on all four paws. But, okay, there was a reason I said that. Um, you don't have to have seen this journey before with someone else for you to be blessed with it. You don't have to see someone come from zero dollars in their pocket and they give all their whole life over to spirit and then one day a million dollars shows up in their account and somebody comes along to help them along with their business out of nowhere and people start reaching out to them to, to start buying stuff like crazy. Like You don't have to have seen it for it to work for you, for it to happen to you, for it to be blessed to you, for miracles to happen in your life. You don't have to have seen it in your, in, that's another thing, maybe because you haven't seen certain things, it's hard for you to fathom it. They're not asking you to fathom it, they're asking you to jump. What's birthing a new age? Thank you. Oh my gosh. Five of Cups. Eight of Swords. One more card. It's there. Or two. So no longer look at the past. There's a new there's a message that was definitely given to you about a new passion, a new birthing, a new age. Moving into a new a new way of being and I'm hearing that these are these are they're saying these are ancestral toxic things they won't they won't let me stop that five of cups always always kicking over always looking at what you don't have and not appreciating what you do have eight of swords keeping yourself mentally stuck from situations that you know no longer serve your purpose ten of swords hanging on to things that you know that have completely stabbed you in the back time and time again not served your highest, highest purpose but you now have a childlike mission passion um, within you to move on um, you have a message from the divine that you know that you are birthing a new age that you are to set off on a new journey that these ancestral toxic um i'm hearing diagnosis so you may also have some diagnosis in the family as well it could be any type of mental i'm hearing mental uh mental issues emotional issues so maybe bipolar or something like that it's like no i'm not i'm not taking that i'm moving on to to the message that i was given that there's newness to come into this birth line there's there's newness to come into this this world i'm hearing that that's 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 where to focus focus on the message oh take a leap right the fool, the judgment, and the chariot to no longer come on, step into your emperor and high priestess. I mean, step into your energy. That's where to focus. Focus your energy on the fact that you are in your emperor energy, um, whether you're a female or a male. Um, whether you're a female or a male. Uh, focus on bossing up and standing very strong in that. And you are the high priestess. You have, yes, victory and success for you because you have you you have the knowledge, the information, the spiritual drive. Okay? Just keep going on that. Okay? On that path. And what should they avoid, spirit? What should they avoid? Get grounded. What is get grounded? What is get grounded, spirit? Three of Pentacles, Two of Swords, Seven of Wands. What you're creating, you have to be decisive about. And you have to stand up for the things that you're trying to birth. Because what I'm seeing here is this woman in this picture is kind of like telling her how to draw this woman or how to, like, giving her instructions. And it's like, yeah, that's that's cute. 
there it is the moon with the seven of cups and the four of cups like someone may not be the happiest that you're on this path someone may not want you to display all of this to other people i don't know what that means Someone may be trying to also guide you down a path that it leads, uh, the path that leads to nowhere. But you need to stand your ground. <laughs> Look to the stand your ground with this because you know what you're doing and you know what you're creating. I'm hearing. So you may not be getting traditional um, teachings, or if you do, it's kind of like you want to take it with a grain of salt and then bring it back to spirit so that spirit can let you know what to apply. So avoid taking too many opinions or uh, uh, th th feedback from other people. Who have taken this journey because your journey is one of a kind the re the butterfly the hummingbird we got the lovers we got you leaping in the faith we definitely got you birthing a new age it's something about you that's particular to you it's not like oh well i did this in my last class and it's like okay well that's nice but i and, and again i'm feeling like maybe you should also avoid having those types of conversations i was divinely picked by god you know like because it some people were not going to understand that you're not you don't mean it in an arrogant way some people are not going to understand that, okay? So it's like, okay, well, take, you know, be kind, take what you get from them and bring it back. Bring it back to nature and your meditations. Bring it back to spirit. All right, and the advice is star mother and trust the path. Thank you, spirit. Six of pentacles. The devil. nine of cups okay the high priestess so advice is to continue on with where you come on and exactly to continue on with where you're currently at um someone who was not trying to give equally to you um may have not have i'm here and they decided not to take the, the the they they decided to take the path of less resistance which isn't always the best path they took a path where they basically, it, it may seem like less resistance, but they really chained themselves um, to something that's not giving an equal give and take. So while I, I do believe that there was there is love coming for you as well as this change in your spiritual life, there's someone or something that it doesn't go to your path, that doesn't go to your next step, okay? That doesn't help you get to your nine of cups. Stay on your path. Don't allow others who may try to offer you small things. I'm hearing offering you small things. Don't allow people offering you small things to take you off your path. Trust your path because you know you know where you're going. I think you see that nine of cups coming for you. That that single abundant life. It's like no matter whether I have a husband or not, um, kids or not. You know I know who I am and where I stand and what my purpose here is. And in that you will definitely be birthed into a whole new realm. Okay, just keep just well you already were rebirthed, so you're in a brand new realm. You have your nine of cups. You beat the devil. You know what I mean? These, these, I'm hearing these whack ass, keeping me in between, keeping me as an option, things like that. So this may also be in regards to love, keeping you as an option. It could be your job, not giving you enough, um, you know, giving to other people before they gave to you, giving other promotions, other things like that to other people before you. Okay. And overall spirit message for the air signs, for the air signs overall. All right. I can't make it up. New beginnings. Everything in life is con um, con constantly vibrating and moving and therefore continuously changing and evolving. Be aware that a new beginning is on the horizon. Have courage and faith because right now life is trying to nudge you forward and move you in a new direction. And trust. When your logical mind is dictating a supposedly clear uh, direction your soul's inner guidance is urging you to follow a path following an alternative path the logical path may be one for you to consider safe and more familiar but you could be missing out on a boundless opportunities and so much more thank you spirit and then intuitive nudges intuition is the language of the soul we are all born with a profound sense of inner knowing intuition is one of the greatest gifts we possess which keeps us connected to our higher selves and universe and our divine spirit. So I hope that this message helped, gave you some comfort and some insight to what to do next on this spiritual journey. Thank you so much for stopping by and lending me your energy. I truly appreciate and love you all. Peace, paradise, protection, and prosperity to each and every one of you and your loved ones. Namaste. Talk to y'all later.